Hello, I'm here speaking on behalf of an Italian citizen uh, who cannot speak today, and I'm going to be reading her speech. So I'm going to start. I am happily surprised about the news coming from my country, Italy, regarding politics. First of all, the results of lo local e elections. The citizens clearly expressed their disapproval for the way the country has been leaded lately. Overall, I was in tears of joy and enthusiasm for what happened in Napoli. The Magistris was elected mayor of Napoli with more than 60% of votes on the second round. This is not just a simple, honest and well-intentioned candidate, but a judge who fought for 15 years against corruption. He had to quit because Berlusconi's party used all its power to block his investigations. Finally, they accuse him of taking his profession too seriously, quote, as a mission, a crime for our government's leaders. Since 2009, the Magistris decided to put his energy into politics, hoping to be able to work for a change. A judge, a not corrupted judge, elector as mayor of Napoli, with all that this town represents for Italy, is an amazing si signal. It's a sign of change. The second reason that makes my hopes rise is the result of last weekend's referendum. This is one of the few referendum who finally reaches the quota in Italy. People were asked to answer about four issues. Two related to the privatization of the public water service, one related to the uh, immunity of Berlusconi against trial. One last question was asking Italian citizens their approval to introduce nuclear power. The result of this referendum was clear. The population expressed that our Prime Minister is not working accordingly to the population's needs and wills. Italians chose with a clear majority. They don't want nuclear power. They want to keep, keep public water and they want their Prime Minister to go on trial. Italian friends I'm in touch with describe me how everybody were involved and committed on spreading information and in inviting everybody to vote and participate at such important decisions. I want to try to see this news as a symptom of a growth. I'm amongst the people who think Italy is a so-called young democracy a nation which became democracy too soon when the population still needs to realize how a real democracy works.